I'm going to hang a door on here, but at the top we've got 30 and 3 sixteenths. Seven, what's, that? what's that, Imperial? Yeah, it's a 30 inch door. So You've 30, been to America too long, we'll go, Yeah, but we go, it's um, 765, but in the middle we've got 774. It's it's like nearly 10 mil too big. Yeah. So I'm going to put the door in, it's going to have a massive big joint. So what's the bottom like? It's the same, it's down there as well, it's like 772, over 30 and a quarter, and we want it under 30 and a quarter yeah. for a few So joints. what's happened here? Do you reckon it's spread or do you reckon no, it's never right? It was probably never right. I've been loads of older houses, the linings, I think they just stood them straight on the floor. They didn't have two foot levels for the eggs. That one looks like it's running down a little bit. And it's quite common, the, the linings are just big and you end up with big joints. We can take the architrave off here, just see if we can prise it out. A bit of expanding foam in now, because these are the little... I think they're the little blocks. Is it clinker blocks? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, the old fire spot. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, a bit of expanding foam. We might have to re-fix um, it. We we'll say we get on. Might have to put a brown plug well, in. Well, there'll be cut it. nails. It'll be in. We'll probably cut nails. nails. Yeah. So we might have to cut through the cut nails. We we'll just like. we we'll put some wedges in there, just to wedge it out a little bit. That's you reckon the plan. pull the nails out? Hopefully, it just pull it out a little bit, and then a bit of foam okay. in there. I think you won the lottery because <laughs> you bought yourself <laughs> a new hammer. Oh yes, new hammer. New hammer on the phone. Yeah, so what's that all about then? That looks like oh, a very fancy bit of kit. Um, it's not dissimilar to the stiletto, is it's it? It's very similar looking. British made. Um, this is Kinetic Customs. Oh, blimey. So I've been waiting for it for a while. There's a little bit of a wait. Yeah. But yeah, nicely British made. When you say a little bit of a wait, what are you talking about? Um, two months. Right. It's a straight claw. You straight claw. Straw? Well, claw my what? e-swing, which I love, is a curved claw, but like sometimes there, you can get a different leverage on it for yeah. taking skirtings off. It was £150 was with it? delivery. And you've got right. your name on it as well. Oh, right. It's engraved with your name. It's got um, your name on it so as well. So if you're yeah. on site and somebody walks off with it, yeah. you tell them straight away. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. <sighs> but, yeah. It's a bit longer than the E swing, so it's. I'm going to miss at some stage. Would they call it a framing hammer? Yeah, right? I believe it's, you know, like the Americans, they do have a long hammer, don't they, for the framing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think with a longer handle, you can, um, like this is, I think, 16 ounce. Yeah. My e swing's 24. And it's got a little nail thing and the magnet. got nail pullers so. there, so you, once you get the nail out, you can, you yeah, can pull them round. But also a little magnet thing. Oh, yeah, you've got one there, you pull it in and start that. Basically, but, yeah, nobody um, ever does it. <laughs> no, no, I think it's a bit gimmicky, isn't it? Or, yeah, but, um, yeah. but I think where you've got a longer handle, you've probably got a more powerful isn't it for eating the nails in yeah more leverage yeah, yeah, sure, not yeah, as much. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's going to take a little bit of use to the longer handle but yeah it feels nice good thank god for that 150 quid <laughs> <down> <laughs> <this morning. laughs> terrible if you've got it i don't like this I don't like it on ebay can't even sell it it's got my name on <laughs> that's true well people might buy that then you never know <laughs> yeah. The straight claw is quite good there. I can get behind it. Nice. Oh, well done. Cut some wedges, I think. Try and get them in between there and there, and just wedge it out a bit. It's nearly 30 and a half. We want it just over the under the quarter, really. 30 and 3 16 to be nice. That's level. Yeah, it's not bad. It's like. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. It's close, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's so what is that? That's, that's what? An inch. 20, 25 mil. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah 25 out of the mil bottom. Time. You're not going to bring that lot over, are no, you? No, no, no. I was just going to bring it and then we'll fit the door to that. So it's dropped, maybe. So the maybe whole lot has gone um, like that. No, that, that way. That way, yeah. Yeah, it's all dropped. Sort of thing. Huh. So. So basically what you're trying to do is kick it up. Oh, I'm just going to move it. that one over just to get yeah, so we get yeah. a nice joint on it. It yeah. might be one of them self-closing doors when you put it on there. It <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it's not level. Yeah, absolutely. You don't need a perco with him. <laughs> it's going to stay shut or open. 50-50. Yeah, yeah. I could probably do with cutting that bottom yeah. so it goes over the top of that. Let me go and get a multi tool. Okay. I'm going to cut the bottom so that um, threshold, that metal bar, can slide over the top. Just bit you. Yeah, it's a bit daft, wasn't it?
Right, I'm in a quarter. I'm going to leave it at that for a minute. See, that's quite... Oh, no, it's got a bit of a belly in it now. I think once we get the door on... That'd be good. <laughs> Look at that. That bubble. <laughs> don't want to go crazy with the foam, do no, you? No, not in here. I don't want to look the walls and... And my gun is a little bit sticky now. I know, the whole I've, I've tried cleaning them. Once they go, they go. I've tried to using the cleaner, and yeah. they don't really, when they've had enough, no, they just I, I, like. What I've found with one of mine is that I was slinging it in the back of the van too much, as is my way. This bit got bent oh, right. slightly, yep. and then the pin when, didn't slide in and out properly. So now I keep it in a nice yeah. place where it doesn't get damaged. Because the other thing, I've burst the can in the back of the van and oh, then it goes over all your tools yeah. and well, but you I'm, discover it the next morning it's about two hours work isn't it? I'm going to keep it in a bag so oh, okay, that's a good idea. clip it in now so then if you get anything fall on it in the van and, yeah. and break anything you've got half a chance of containing yeah, it. Yeah yeah good idea. That's the plan. Yeah you are that's the Daniel Cox <laughs> bone bag. They're £5.99. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So thanks to Chris Burwood because he um he showed me that he bought one of these and we was chatting about it on Instagram. And that's one of the other reasons I bought this uh, new hammer, so cheers Chris. It's a bit deep. So what's the story with the router then? Um, well the 18 volt routers are very popular now because I'm only taking out a few mil for the recess but um, I made a, a, a base for it because with the one that come with it's only about that big you can get the plunge base but um, yeah. but I just made it a lot longer so when you're doing a 4 inch hinge otherwise you get halfway through That's and the base sort of falls in your recess in there, yeah. so a little bit longer um, I trimmed that down so you can get into not always but you can get into an architrave sometimes oh okay so you can do them in situ basically in situ um yeah. and also it had a bit round here but by doing that you can get quite tight into a rebate Got so it. like on so you front doors on a bigger frame you can get quite in there mm -hmm. and then this is just a stretcher plate i put that on there it's like a stopper because sometimes you want to adjust it a little bit so i just like do that there and then you can just like Otherwise, you undo it, sometimes you just slide and you, you oh, lose okay. it all. I see so, what you're saying. So, just by um, doing that, say I want to move it like just a diddy little bit, and just yeah. lock that off there, oh, yeah. about like that, and then just slide push it, it to it. Yeah. And you just get that. Got it. Sometimes you want to go in from like doing a latch, you might want to go in from both sides of the door to get it quite central. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll just get it reasonably accurate and it, it just helps it out. Well, I would say, many times I've undone that and it slid up, you think, oh, I forgot where it was. And yeah. You so, that little, so, it's only a stretcher plate and a nut and bolt through it. It's a little bit, so it's a little bit too big now, so I can just lock that off there. And now I'm in the ballpark. I've got a corner chisel, but um, yeah, why? I thought I'd go proper. There was a bit of a debate whether you should put the right in up the right way on the hinges, but um, I was always told the most to the post. So you've got the three pins there and then the two. So the three go to the frame, the post. Right, so the two to the door. Two to the door, yeah. <laughs> A 
big screw, that little thin door. That's all. Doesn't yourself lengthy old hammer yet. That's right. I like four inch hinges, they make it easy. I yeah. think you've got more. They? I've, well, just something, when you put a four inch hinge on it, with the three, they're quite thin. Yeah. And then they, with four, you've got, you know, that recess is a nice thickness. And it just, but yeah, I think it's come out alright, yeah. really. Getting better at it, Rog. <laughs> You'll get there. It's only took 30 years. What's the secret to getting a stop off in one piece without oh, snapping it? Difficulty, it, yeah. Paint it on, yeah? Yeah, just, you know, just run the standing off down it. And then, not very well, but... Don't be greedy. No, nah, just... We just try and use it off gently and move it over quite a bit. Help if you have a decent hammer down. Oh, no, it's a... <laughs> not this toffee one. So what's that then you're using? Uh, it was um, it's a metal plate from a overhead door closure that screwed on. I just drilled a hole in it, and you got a centre line there. Yeah. I mean, you can use a square and run it down, but I just put that on there. Are they all out. the same then? Those latches? Um, they are. You can. Get, they're all the same, yes. But you get um, sixty. Oh, I forget what it is now. Roger, two and a quarters. Yeah. And they're all they're all pretty similar to that centre, so that's 55 mil, two and a quarter. Yeah. I think the next one's down inch and three quarters. And I think you can get or you can yeah, get some, more. you know, but a lot of what we use are them that 55 mil. I've done a 22 mil hole, but they're a bit of a pain sometimes because they're if you do it much wider, you, you start getting a bit yes, close to the right. plate, yeah. and you move over a little bit. I mean, if I'm doing loads, I've got um, a jig that I put in there, the trend jig, they're quite good, they are. And it, when you're doing loads on site, but the odd one is free end.
So how's the old square going, Dan? Um, it's all good. Um, yep, sales are good. So thanks for everyone buying one. And next week, Monday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Alexander Palace Tall Fair. So um, I'll be up there displaying and selling the roof in square. We've now got it in, in Thanos boxes, so you've got to buy a Thanos box. Oh, really? We've got the... Uh, oh, OK, so the guy could buy it. You can actually so buy it. So we'll be able to buy it in a box. So I'll be there. So Alexander Palace, Alexander Palace, Tuesday, Wednesday, free to get in. Free to get in. Um, and uh, you'll uh, come and say, say hello to you, yeah? Yep, and no sugar in my tea. <laughs> Oh, see, that's not deep enough. Okay. I don't think so, yeah, no. yeah. That should put it in nice. So Daniel's gone because he's got to get around the M25. He's got a busy day tomorrow preparing for that tall show. So he's left me to do that tricky bit. Put the keep in. No, it's a piece of cake, really. What could possibly go wrong? Even if you haven't got a £150 hammer, seems like a simple job. Now, when it comes to marking out the position for the keep, you can do it by measuring, basically. You can close the door and measure it. But what I do is I use a little bit of Marmite or other yeast extract. It doesn't have to be Marmite. And what I'll do is just smear a tiny bit on there, like that. Important thing then, look at your finger. Mm, lovely. And then push it in. Line it up so that we're exactly where we want to be. And then... And there's the mark. So the thing about that Marmite trick is you either love it or you hate it. Right, so if um, this rattles, if when you put the door and you put the door stops on, the thing rattles, what you can do is just bend this little bit of metal out here and that just firms it up. That's what that's for, that little bit of metal. Adjust it, just actually, if you want to do it, you can just knock it through from there slightly and um, you'll find that tighten it up and stop that annoying rattle that you sometimes get in the breeze not perfect but nothing a little bit of paint and filler won't cure that's the secret of my carpentry <laughs> 